All right, I'm Dave Ratt, and I'm um, doing um, some comparisons on digital versus analog. Uh, I've got these two little setups. If you watch the other videos, I highly recommend you do so if you have not. The What I'm doing here is I've got um, multiple channels of analog in series, uh, 10 channels. I've got multiple channels of digital uh, going from A to D, D to A, 10 times in series. And... Um, using that technique to magnify whatever issues. If there's an issue of a small amount, theoretically it should be 10 times that amount, um, and we can do an A-B comparison between. Um, I did a high frequency test starting around 1K, 2K, and going out and looking at some of the top end um, aspects, uh, the digital board being flatter to a higher frequency, and then um, dropping off very quickly at one half the sampling rate around 23k, and it, um, you could see some of the uh, converge uh, the, the sample rate errors that were happening. Um, the analog console went up to 26k and plus. It was rolling off at the edges. It wasn't uh, is. Uh, flat up top, it was down a dB or so, but um, it went to a higher frequency. Um, better or worse, who knows? These are just things to be aware of. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the low end aspects of these two adventures here. This one is 60 cycles. Um, we can see the initial signal here, and we can see the signal coming out of the digital console on the bottom. And if I PFL, um, there's one channel, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then uh, out to the left and right. And you could see the um, waveform slowly incrementing um, due to the latency of those A to D, D to A conversions. But the overall level from beginning to end, one channel, ten channels, Hold it, holds about the same. Um, latency, um, if we manage it well and we don't combine to the same signal back to itself with a, a differing latency, we should be fine with that. But these are small amounts. I mean, these are less than a millisecond. Uh, we can calc that out and we will do so in another video episode. Let's go ahead and switch to analog and look at the 60 cycle. So there's one channel. Um, here we can see that we're you know, fairly in time, in phase. Um, and then as I go to two, three, we're watching it drop. We're getting a little bit of roll off at 60 cycle. We're seeing the waveform drop in level. Let's see, let's go lower. And actually, let me fix that. Let's go ahead and calibrate up for 60 cycles and then we'll go to a lower frequency. So, okay, so now um, we'll go through and look at one versus 10, and we have no drop at all. So we've calibrated off of 60 cycles. Uh, let's go ahead and take it down to 30. Actually go to 25, because it's there and um, beyond the scope of just your general frequencies there. Okay, at 25 hertz, uh, change this meter a bit. And we'll go down the same line. Oh, now we are seeing, now that we've calibrated at 60, we're, we're actually seeing a slight drop in level on the analog console at 25 cycles versus the whole amount. So this is one channel, and I will go to 10 channels, and maybe we'll see that in the, and one channel, and 10 channels. Okay, all right, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and do the digital console at 24 hertz. And there is one channel, and we'll go down the line. One. And I went to the past one. So we are seeing absolutely no shift at 25 seconds. In fact, the latency is so small in relation to the wavelength of 25 hertz, which is many, many feet long, that um, 
we don't even see the latency affecting the waveform um, at 25 hertz. And it is just holding, there we go, a one to 10. There's a slight latency shift there. Okay, let's find a lower limit if we can. Um, I'm gonna sweep it on down. These are some low frequencies. It's 18 hertz, 17 hertz, 16 hertz. Let's go down to 10, see what that looks like. All right, 10 hertz through the Allen Heath. Looks pretty good to me. Let's do one channel versus 10 channels. And we see some more roll off on the 10 channels, um, some cumulative roll off. So there's a high pass in there somewhere. And on the analog console, one channel, we see some and 10 channels, we see nothing. So in with these specific pieces of hardware, this uh, digital console definitely has some low frequency extension that um, the analog console does not. Again, uh, it's hardware specific. They can easily make analog that goes lower and they can make digital that doesn't go as low, but um, it's interesting to take a look at. Next up, I think that'll do for this one. Uh, next up, we'll do um, pulses and also distortion. We'll find where the console breaks up digitally and analog and um, listen to the difference in sound of those two breakups and we'll listen to what happens with pulses and some other factors in the console. Cool, cool.